It was a long ten and a half hour street flight from Dulles Airport. The food was good. It was a very, very seamless process. It's so good. Like fresh coconut. Uh, she lost it so much. Look at yes, it. Look at her. Yes, I do. Now we're going to cut it open. You don't want to do that? Yes. Please, can you cut it open for us? Thank you. No, we don't get to do this a lot. So. I'm gonna go for it now. Yeah. Hey. 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 So, just excuse me, I'm a bit tired um, this morning, today's Sunday, it sounds a little bit more quiet outside, I'm so tired because um, I had not really slept during my entire um, flight here and I didn't get to sleep much when I got here yesterday. And then I ended up spending mostly the day with my mom, walking around the market and basically all around town. I was exhausted. I had like blisters on my feet this morning. So today I'll just be wearing um, slippers to help kind of alleviate that pain because I can't. I had a little bump on my face yesterday, but I put some alcohol on it and it looks like it's gone down. Um, I don't know what happened with that, probably a bug or something. Um, so it's, it's, it's morning, I don't know, I think it's like 9, 9 o'clock, 9, 9.30, and I'm about to eat some breakfast. I'm about to have some house hakuku. Exactly. What I've been thinking about, been trying to have for a long time. <laughs> and that's my mom. I got my house hakuku in a bag. And um, yeah, I'm about to eat that. I'm some bullfrogs. It's gonna be yummy. So I'm gonna step outside real quick because I wanna just go um, look outside, see what's going on. So something really funny. The day I was leaving, that's when I decided to retwist my locks, which was a bad idea because I never finished. I was in a rush the whole time. So I literally showed up in Ghana looking like this with my hair a hot mess. But it's all good because I got to finish it. I got to redo it and it was all good. It looks like the house next door has some type of church service going on. They put up a, a tent. It wasn't there yesterday. It's loud. It's real. So the first place I visited was the Independence Square in Accra. And right behind the square is the Osu Beach, which was so refreshing. So where are you going? What is that? 
Okay, so I'm hungry. If you've been in Ghana before, you know that nighttime is always lit. There's always something happening. And on this night, there was actually a party that we had to walk through just to get to the restaurant that we were trying to get to. So on this trip, I stayed in Abusokai, which is um, right in Accra. It borders like the Zongo area, if you know what Zongo is. It was definitely an experience I'll never forget. Next destination, Gurdjia, which is also in Accra. And we took the Tra Tra, which is like a bus. I saw the sign over there. I saw the sign. Oh. I had to, um... Um... I have never been to Bodria before. It's definitely less busy than the airport area, but it's a really nice little city right outside of main Accra, which is really beautiful and calm. Destination is the Beauty of Nature Hotel. This hotel was very unique because it was a hotel slash restaurant and it had also a mini zoo. So I got to see some crocodiles. I got to see a lot of really cute small animals. Um, it was just overall a fun experience. I took these two photos just because I have not seen a house like that or any live chickens in a long time. <laughs> of course, the ride back was absolutely beautiful. My plan today is to go and visit a university campus that I've been um, thinking about. It's been fun. Um, I've been busy almost every day since I got here. I'm, I'm having fun, but I realize that transportation takes a lot of time. Um, so I've kind of cut down a little bit of my plans, my travel plans, you know, as far as tourist um, sites and all of that. I do want to go to the Accra Mall, so all those things are on the agenda for today. So this is 18 Ghana, right? Ghana CDs. Okay, so this is about $3.50, which I guess is okay. We are in KFC, actually right across from Legon um, Botanical Garden. I really love the Nungwa Mall. It was more like a strip mall, not like the Accra Mall. And it was just really beautiful. A lot of very nice different stores. Just standing there chilling outside. Next thing we know, like a bus of kids just pull up and all of a sudden there's a dance battle. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay, I'm all about dancing. So I really enjoy that.
I was like too hyped. Hey, hey, hey. I'm telling you, Ghana's never dull. There's never a dull moment. And that's what I love about it. I want to get another one, but I'm trying to control myself. You see how everybody's enjoying it? She's enjoying it too. <laughs> I love coconuts. I love it. So. You know what makes the difference? It's the straws. He gives out straws and the tissues. And don't forget, he needs white. What? He needs a white. He needs a oh, Yes. He's looking for a white too. <laughs> Drivers, driver and vehicle license and authority, aka MVA. So as far as going MVA, it wasn't part of my plans, but that day I didn't have anything to do and my mom was going, so I decided to tag along to see what it looks like. And then after that, on the way back home, we stopped and got some food, which is my favorite part. Get out of the way. I gotta get the action. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna also if you like. No, no, no. No. Next destination, I'm in Chroma Circle. Overall, I had a really fun time on this trip. I did get to see a lot of family and friends I haven't seen in many years. On my last day though, it was raining a lot. So early in the day, I went to the market to grab a couple of souvenirs for my girlfriends here and headed to the airport. Um, other than that, thank you for joining me and reliving the experience with me. And hopefully I will be able to share my next Ghana vlog or journey with you guys. <laughs> Start to be